Hi, Pisces. Pisces, 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 what's going on? What's the message for Pisces, Spirit? Doubt. I release the need to know all the answers. Freedom. Give yourself freedom. 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 I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. And service is right behind that. I feel good when I can help others. Yes. And purpose, right? But wow, I know what I'm here to do. Happiness. Oh, I love it. With freedom. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. Your purpose, I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. Oh my God. All of these come. Have the courage to be happy. Courage says, I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. There's a lot of strength card Leo energy coming out courageous energy and it's the new year it's new us some people are scared like oh my god one more year of COVID like what do we you know so there could be it's, people are just tapping into their inner strength the empress fell right on service Pisces what's up oh, service I feel good when I can help others. You are in your power. You're creating a beautiful life. Venus energy, abundance, luxury, love, harmony, beauty. Oh, death, total transformation. You could be dealing with the Scorpio, um, Taurus, Libra, or you could just have this in your chart. Whatever it is, there's a total change and you are about to come into some major abundance um, being of service and following your true happiness. The world, there's a lot of success coming in for you. You could have been working really, really hard, carrying a heavy burden, ten of wands, juggling things. But look, the sun is at the top of the deck. That's ultimate happiness. That's healing, good health, joy. And the queen of pinnacles, you're creating money, stability. You're, you've worked hard for your wealth. You've got your mind on your money and your money on your mind. There's fertility here. You could be dealing with a mother or you are a mother. Or you're just nurturing yourself. I almost said your own damn self. <laughs> Knight of Swords, you've got new ideas and you're acting on them. Death wanted to come out again. And it, when I was thinking of look, and looking at the doubt card, so there need, there's a total transformation. No more doubting yourself. Step into your alignment, your divine purpose. You're powerful. Follow your happiness. You have free will to choose. What are you going to put your energy on? What are you going to put your mind to? It's a heavy burden carrying around all that doubt and holding back four of pentacles. Look at that. With the nine of swords, you're anxious or you could be anxious or you're around anxious people. Page of wands. She's free to do what she wants any old time. This is, she's following her passion. You could be getting a new job promotion, um, following your passion and career or a hobby. But this is inspired action, something that's going to grow. Something that makes you truly happy, in spirit, inspired. Don't hold yourself back. Stop holding yourself back. Pisces, Nine of Pentacles. There's a lot of wealth here. On your own, in service to others and for yourself, following your own happiness, your own inner compass, your heart compass, leads you to being independently um, 
course you want to say wealthy because she's surrounded by all those coins but this is a person that stands on their own she could be in a relationship she could be married but still she is safe and secure on her own she has her own wealth wealth of creativity wealth of spirit the tower change a total destruction of the old of your doubts in comes love of uh, six of cups something from your past that you've always loved something that's nostalgic two of cups it could be a could be a lover but it could be a friend it could just be a situation or something that you've always wanted your whole life since you were young and it's here and it's coming in and it makes you truly happy it's saying follow that path of what you loved what you gave to others right because on the six of cups they're giving selflessly this is an act it's like an act of service it's from the heart they're not asking anything in return i'm hearing that that you know the sun gave or shined its light on the moon all these years but never asked for anything in return you know i don't remember what the saying says exactly but you know what i mean ten of cups so many blessings. This is fortune after difficulty. This absolutely could be work. Eight of Pentacles. You've been working on it. You've been diligent. And you're. this is a happy family. This is a happy life. This is emotional fulfillment. Happiness. Pisces. Pisces and Jupiter. This is Pisces. Pisces season off the chain. Okay, so I split the deck and I get the magician and the tower. So there's that sudden that change, right? You're manifesting, you're consciously manifesting, but you don't know what you want to manifest. Two of Wands. You're ambitious, you're looking at things. Seven of Cups. You're confused. Okay, well, what makes me happy? Seven of Pentacles, 77. You've been thinking about this for a really long time. You've been, or you know what makes you happy and you've been watering that seed. Four of Swords. Again, I'm just feeling like a lot of you don't even know what makes you truly happy and it keeps you up at night. Ten of Wands, this is a heavy burden because you're juggling back and forth. A lot of things, a lot of emotions. Ten, this is, every, you're, and meanwhile you're saying everything is fine. But you're like, Oh, this sucks so hard high priestess you know deep down that something is not for you but I think you don't know like there's a, a lady in black here that she's creeping up on her and I'm sorry these are holographic so you can't see these and it's dark in here because it's one o'clock in the morning but um, this is the moon card this is you and again look you're surrounded everything is fine but this deck just so happens to have the ten of swords in it twice this one says everything is fine and this one just says ten of swords so I think it's over like you want it to be over of not knowing what what doesn't what makes you happy like you're like on a mission I'm gonna find out I'm gonna look deep within and I'm gonna know what makes me truly happy and I'm gonna follow that road. Follow that yellow brick road. Consciously manifest my life. Total change, look at things from a different perspective. With the hang one. Was it healing with the angels? Body care, exercise, taking care of yourself, eating right, that always helps your intuition and helps you with ideas and inspiration. I'm seeing the soulmate card and healing. Friendship at the top of the deck. You know, because soulmates, they can, they can just be friends. Emerging, you could, um, yeah, you're just emerging into this new freedom, this new life. I mean, it's the beginning of the year, it's the new years, right? trust she's kind of looking at that doubt 
and the death card is like, and she's kind of smiling, like, it's over. I don't have to live that way. I don't have to live in that energy. Like, it's a switch of my mind. And if you just, to get into the emotion of gratitude, to feel like it's already here. I already have, a, a, you know, that's a broad spectrum to say I already have what I want. What it really is, is I'm already happy. You want to get into the emotion of gratitude and joy. I believe that's what we call God, is joy and love. So when you're in that vibration, that feeling of joy and happiness, and you surrender to it, Whatever makes you happy, whatever little bitty thing it is, follow the breadcrumbs because they become whole loaves of bread. And then they become grocery stores. And then you have a grocery store chain. It is full-blown manifestation following your happiness. Believe in the impossible, blue moon. Prosperity lies ahead. New moon in Taurus. <laughs> A time to give rather than to take. New moon in Virgo. I love you, Pisces. I'll see you soon.